Today is Global Hand Washing Day celebrated across the world. Detol NDTV Banega Swachh India is uh, going to take you across uh, the country where school children have gathered together to paint for a hygienic India. In fact, let's get across uh, to uh, Harsha Kumari in Jaipur to see how the Pink City is observing this day. Yes, and here for the Detol NDTV Banega Swachh India campaign on Global Hand Washing Day, we have a very special guest with us, Princess Diya Kumari of Jaipur. Uh, welcome, ma'am. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. We, she's also not only uh, has she now entered the arena of politics, but she's also someone who loves children and who has a number of schools running in Jaipur. So I think for you, this campaign should have a special significance, especially since you've been closely involved with education and children. No, I think um, it's a great campaign uh, to uh, be involved in and I'd like to thank NDTV to be to have started this campaign and uh, I think it's very essential. This should be a part of our life. We shouldn't even think twice. We should keep washing our hands, keeping ourselves clean. It goes a long way in keeping us healthy. And I feel really happy to be involved in this and uh, I'd like to do much more. I think it's very important. It has to start from within. This awareness has to be inbuilt. It has to start from a young age. Only then do we understand the importance of keeping everything clean. What is cleanliness? It should just come naturally. Why do we have to be told again and again that no, now clean this, pick this up, this is litter, this is dust. Why? I mean, shouldn't it be a part of our own selves? It should come from inside. Absolutely. And you are uh, somebody from a city like Jaipur, which is a heritage city where a number of tourists come. I think it's very important for citizens in Jaipur, for a tourist city in Jaipur to have a clean city, isn't it? Absolutely. I think it's very important and it's, and it's a, uh, something which each citizen should realize you shouldn't only depend on the government or the authorities right. to be doing that for you of course it's their job but it's also your own your own your responsibility as a person who's living there to keep this in mind and to do your bit towards keeping the environment clean keeping your cities clean and yourselves clean so thank you very much and now just to tell you that what's trending these days on the net is apart from a selfie the latest thing is a hand fee so can you do a hand fee for us and give a message of uh, washing your hands so, so thank you very much for doing a hand fee and um, that was Princess Diya Komari doing a hand fee for Detol NDTV Banega Swachh India campaign. A large and enthusiastic turnout of school children, teachers and NGO activists uh, joining us now, internationally acclaimed artist Ms. Malika Sarabhai and thanks for being part of this event. How important and significant are initiatives like uh, this one? Maybe it's a small initiative, but nonetheless an important one. It's a very important one. As, far, as a matter of fact, Darpana has been working on the whole issue of hand washing in the rural areas and in the slums. We have a project going on just now in the slums in Ahmedabad, where hand washing is a very, very integral part of the whole hygiene issue. So I think these kind of campaigns are very important. Sanitation is a major concern area in the country, though different governments have been claiming, you know, uh, the number of toilets have increased, there's focus on sanitation, but still a lot more needs to be done. Would you agree? You know what a lot of government schemes seem to miss is that buildings are not what change mindsets. Mindsets are what make people use buildings. So just building a toilet, I remember working in Kutch a few years ago when toilet after toilet was being used as a storeroom. And in some places, there wasn't even a toilet block. There was just a toilet seat sitting in the middle of a field where the government would have ticked off. The, yes, this toilet has been built, but it's a joke. So in India, what seems to be a huge problem, and it was highlighted in the newspapers this morning, is that lots of toilets have been built, but they're still not being used as toilets. Some put hay in them, some put old newspapers, some put bori bistras. So it's the mindsets that need to be worked with in a lot of these issues. So what is the takeaway from events like this one? I hope these children will educate their families about the necessities and that the family's behavior will change. I think children are a very, very important part of the way you can change society. Because if a child learns and the child insists at home, then the parents change. Thank you so much. So they have uh, Ms. Malika Sarah by insisting on the fact that children form an important and integral part of bringing about an attitudinal change in the society. In Ahmedabad, the camera person, Nathur Parma, Rohit Ban for NDTV.